patients in high blood pressure? Well, not long ago, you never put the two in the same sentence unless you meant your kids are giving you high blood pressure. Well, times have changed and more and more kids are actually getting it. Our Dr. Bill Loy joins us from San Francisco with more on what's being called a hidden epidemic. And so does this have everything to do with the fact that we're dealing with a child obesity problem like never before in this country? It's a big part of it, Frederica. This is the second big wave of health problems that are coming along with too many American kids that are overweight. We already know so many chubby kids now get into trouble with that type 2 adult diabetes. Well, now more and more American kids are having problems with high blood pressure. Wow. But unlike diabetes, where you have signs and symptoms and it can be diagnosed quickly, a new study published this week in the AMA says that three out of four children with high blood pressure evade detection. That is, nobody's looking for them. Their blood pressure is being measured but nobody's doing anything about it. So that means they're not getting medication either, which is in the case of many adults who have high blood pressure, they get some kind of medication, right? Well, they need some kind of treatment, and in children with high blood pressure, specifically if it's related to inactivity or being mm -hmm. overweight, well, you get them outside. You get them exercising, you get them on a good diet, and you no, get their weight down, and the way. blood pressure problem goes away. You don't want to start kids on medication, yeah. but the problem comes where we're measuring the blood pressure, they enter the numbers in the computer, but the computer never tells the doctor that the mm -hmm. child had high blood pressure. So parents, whenever you take your child to the doctor, they measure the vital signs, always ask the nurse or the tech, hey, what what was the blood pressure? I want to know. And yeah. then you can discuss it with the doctor. If it's any number other than 120 over 80, and it varies a lot, Frederica, wow. you can just discuss it with your doctor. 120 over 80. Okay, and so simply put, just get your kids out, get them to exercise, etc. But at the same time, you hear high blood pressure sometimes in adults. That means stroke and maybe even heart attacks. Is that something oh, that people need to worry about so for kids? It'll age you so prematurely. These children who are untreated, by the time they're 20, they're going to have a body of somebody who's 50. Uh, there's dire predictions about what's going to happen to our society with so many chubby kids. Mm -hmm. And it's not just overweight kids, Frederica. Mm -hmm. it's skinny kids that are playing video games all day, okay. they also can be at risk for high blood pressure. So everybody needs more increased activity. And with the start of the school year, make sure mm -hmm. your kids are enrolled in a good physical fitness program. Don't let them skip the PE. Make sure they do the PE and keep them busy. Yeah, that means pressure on a lot of school districts too. Don't eliminate the PE because that's another big problem. But that's another subject, isn't it? <laughs> well, it is, but that's an important way in which the community can respond to this terrible yeah. problem of children obesity. All right, Dr. Bill Lloyd, thanks so much. Have a great we'll holiday talk again weekend. Soon.